Ultima Thule is an object in the Kuiper Belt. Bennu is an asteroid, and it's the destination of the OSIRIS-REx mission, which is an asteroid sample return mission. Every star and every planet around that star has a Kuiper Belt, and New Horizons is the first going to our Kuiper Belt and exploring it. That's pretty fantastic. The Kuiper Belt is the edge of our very solar system. It's the part of the original disk that the sun and the planets formed out of that's at the very edge before you just get into the galaxy and the region between the stars. And at that very edge of the disk, there wasn't enough stuff to make giant planets and make big uh, stars like our sun. There was just enough stuff to make small dwarf planets and snowballs. An asteroid is one of the leftover building blocks of the solar system. And in some cases, they are simply just the pristine pieces that never formed into anything else. But in other cases, they're actually the remnants from large collisions as the planets formed and sometimes broke apart. And so we see a variety of different types of asteroids that look distinctly different from each other depending on how they formed. Bennu is different from a Kuiper Belt object in that it spent most of its life inside the inner solar system as opposed to the outer solar system. And that means that they likely formed under different conditions, very different temperatures, and also with different materials around them. So we think the Kuiper Belt objects are much more likely to be icy and have water ice, whereas an asteroid won't. And that's the primary difference between them, but we expect them both to be building blocks of the early solar system. Ultima Thule is an object in the Kuiper Belt. It's a member of the group that we call in the Kuiper Belt the Cold Classicals. That's fancy astronomer speak for object that has formed in place and never been perturbed or moved around. Bennu is likely part of what we call a collisional family, and that means that it originally came from a bigger asteroid that broke apart in a collision at some point in time. Now this particular asteroid is very interesting to us because it's very dark. It reflects only 3% of the light that it's receiving from the sun. So we think that means it's covered in carbon and organics, which are the building blocks of life. And we'd like to understand how common those building blocks were in the early solar system. Ultima Thule means in Latin, for farthest land. If you think about it by analogy, New Horizons is going to the farthest part of our solar system, and it is very cold and dark and barren out there. Like any Kuiper Belt object formed in the far reaches of our solar system. It formed where ice, water ice, is as hard and as strong as rock. It formed where other ices, even more volatile, like methane or carbon monoxide or nitrogen, are, can still be held and captured. So unlike an asteroid, which is actually just a piece of rock, and possibly a piece of rock that has melted and changed over with some um, alteration by some wa internal water, Ultima Thule never melted, never differentiated, never made a core, like, even like our planet Earth has a core. All that stuff is just as it came from the galaxy, we think, and is just a, um, if you will, a random loose snowball uh, accreted material. So we'll see if that's really true.